Jakarta, Indonesia's capital, is sinking fast. To save it, the Indonesian government has launched the Garuda Seawall Project, a groundbreaking engineering marvel. This colossal seawall, spanning 40 kilometers and standing 24 meters tall, is designed to shield Jakarta from relentless flooding. With a budget of $10.5 billion, the wall will not only protect, but also transform the city's landscape. Envision a bustling urban space atop the wall, complete with residential areas, industrial zones, and lush green parks. The project even includes 17 artificial islands set to house 2 million people. But this isn't just about building a barrier. The Garuda Seawall will incorporate advanced floodgate systems and a freshwater reservoir to address Jakarta's chronic water issues. As construction gears up, the world watches with bated breath. Will this audacious project turn the tide and secure Jakarta's future? If you glance at a map and locate Southeast Asia, you'll find the sprawling metropolis of Jakarta nestled on the southwest coast of the island of Java. This vibrant city is home to over 10 million people and is Indonesia's bustling capital. But beneath the surface of this thriving urban landscape lies a grave threat. Jakarta is sinking, and it's sinking fast. At a shocking rate of 12 centimeters per year, Jakarta is disappearing into the earth. This isn't just an alarming statistic, it's a ticking time bomb. The weight of the city's numerous skyscrapers and shopping malls is causing the soil to compact and sink. Jakarta boasts the most shopping malls in the world and ranks 12th for the number of skyscrapers. These towering giants are part of the problem. But the story doesn't end there. Water shortages in Jakarta have led to widespread groundwater extraction. Imagine thousands, possibly millions, of deep holes being drilled into the ground to access water. This relentless tapping into the Earth's reservoirs is further destabilizing the land. And then there's the sea. Jakarta lies on the edge of the Java Sea, where water levels are rising by as much as 200 centimeters per year. The city is caught in a relentless cycle of flooding, with damages currently estimated at $133 million annually. By 2050, if no action is taken, a third of Jakarta could be underwater. The signs of impending disaster are everywhere. Between 1997 and 2005, parts of Jakarta saw over 4 meters of land swallowed by the sea. It's a dire situation for a city that plays a crucial role in Indonesia's economy and culture. But amidst this looming catastrophe, there's a beacon of hope. The Indonesian government has revived plans for an ambitious solution, the Garuda Sea Wall. This colossal project aims to build a giant sea wall around Jakarta. It's a 40-year plan with an initial budget of a jaw-dropping $10.5 billion. When completed, the Garuda Sea Wall will be an engineering marvel unlike anything the world has ever seen. The project's history is not without its hurdles. Initially proposed in 2010, the sea wall faced strong opposition from environmental groups and local politicians who feared it would disrupt marine ecosystems and local livelihoods. Critics argued that it might create more problems than it solved. Despite these concerns, the situation in Jakarta has grown so severe that the project has been brought back to life. To truly grasp the magnitude of the Garuda Seawall project, we need to delve into its construction and engineering intricacies. Picture a colossal barrier rising from the waters of the Java Sea, stretching over 40 kilometers and standing 24 meters tall. This is not just a wall. It's a fortress designed to shield Jakarta from the relentless encroachment of the sea. The Garuda Sea Wall is named after the mythical bird Garuda, a symbol of strength and protection in Indonesian culture. The project aims to embody these qualities, offering a robust defense against flooding and land subsidence. The wall will be strategically built on the northern bay of Jakarta, with two main sections extending east and west to encircle the city. One of the most impressive aspects of the Garuda Sea Wall is its multifunctional design. The top of the wall will be transformed into a vibrant urban space. 
Imagine an area bustling with life, featuring an airport, a harbor, residential zones, industrial areas, waste treatment facilities, water reservoirs, and lush green spaces. All of this will be spread across approximately 4,000 hectares. The construction of the Garuda Seawall is divided into three major phases, each with its own set of challenges and milestones. The first phase involves building a preliminary seawall to provide immediate protection against flooding. This phase has a budget of $10.5 billion and is expected to be completed by 2030. The initial barrier will span 30 kilometers along the coast of Jakarta. It's essentially an extension and strengthening of the existing dike system, which was overwhelmed during the devastating flood of 2007. In the second phase, the wall will be extended and reinforced. This stage will involve constructing additional sections of the sea wall to cover more areas prone to flooding. The focus will be on creating a continuous barrier that can withstand severe weather conditions and rising sea levels. This phase is critical, as it will set the foundation for the final and most ambitious stage of the project. The final phase involves completing the full structure of the Garuda Sea Wall. This stage will see the construction of the main sections of the wall, rising to its full height of 24 meters. The project will also include the creation of 17 artificial islands. These islands will serve as new urban areas, providing housing for an estimated 2 million people. The deadline for this phase is set for 2040, with additional time allocated for final adjustments and improvements. Now, let's dive into the engineering and technical aspects of the Garuda Sea Wall. To put it simply, building a structure of this magnitude requires cutting-edge technology and innovative engineering solutions. The foundation of the sea wall is crucial. Engineers need to ensure that the wall is anchored securely to prevent it from being undermined by the sea. The foundation will be constructed using a combination of reinforced concrete and steel pilings. These materials are chosen for their strength and durability, capable of withstanding the harsh marine environment. One of the challenges in constructing the Garuda Seawall is working in a dynamic coastal environment. Engineers will use a method called prefabrication, where large sections of the wall are built off-site and then transported to the construction site. This approach reduces construction time and minimizes disruption to the existing coastal area. A critical feature of the Garuda Seawall is its integrated floodgate system. These floodgates are designed to manage the flow of water from Jakarta's 13 rivers. By regulating water levels, the floodgates will prevent the accumulation of water behind the wall, which could otherwise turn Jakarta Bay into a stagnant pool. The gates will be automated, allowing for precise control based on real-time data. One of the innovative aspects of the Garuda Seawall is the inclusion of a freshwater reservoir. Jakarta's reliance on groundwater extraction has been a significant factor in its sinking problem. To address this, the wall will incorporate a system to collect and store rainwater and river water. This reservoir will provide a sustainable source of clean water for the city's residents, reducing the need for groundwater extraction. Building a massive structure like the Garuda Sea Wall naturally raises environmental concerns. Critics worry about the impact on marine ecosystems and local fisheries. To mitigate these issues, the project includes extensive environmental studies and safeguards. For example, the design incorporates fish passes and mangrove restoration areas to support local biodiversity. Additionally, the floodgates are designed to allow the natural flow of water, minimizing disruption to the marine environment. Despite its ambitious goals, the Garuda Seawall project faces numerous challenges. Critics argue that the wall might not address the root causes of Jakarta's sinking problem, such as groundwater extraction and rapid urbanization. There are also concerns about the project's feasibility and the ability to raise the necessary funds. The Garuda Seawall project is more than just an engineering marvel. It's a lifeline for Jakarta's future. Once completed, this colossal structure will not only protect the city from flooding and land subsidence, but also create new opportunities for sustainable urban development. As we wrap up, we want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the Garuda Seawall project? Do you believe it will save Jakarta? Or are there better solutions out there? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please like and subscribe to our channel. 
Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update on fascinating projects like this.